Let's check it out. So here's the example page with black background. I already have a wrapper div with flex layout to center everything on the screen. First, let's create another wrapper for our neon text. Next, create another shower div. I will use a line break tag to separate the text into two lines. And that's all for HTML structure. Let's work on the CSS. First, we'll find a font that is suitable for making neon effect. For me, I just search the word neon in Freefonts website and pick one. Once you have the font file, put it into web directory and use font face to load it. And next, set the font, size, and color. Now we are going to create a glowing effect using text shadow. This is the same technique as previous video to create a 3D text effect. To save the time, I will just copy and paste it here instead of typing. Basically, these are multiple layers of shadow with different blur radius and color intensity. For example, the light closest to the text should be the brightest. So we will set a very pale red and small amount of offset and blur radius. And for those far away from the text, we will set it to darker color with more blur radius and offset. You can experiment and try adjusting these values to suit your project design. And here is the result. To make it more realistic, I'm going to add a dark brick wall as background image of the main wrapper. Now here is optional. I'm going to add a border. We can do that easily using the same technique. But since border is not a text, we will have to use box shadow instead of text shadow. Again, I will just copy and paste to save time. I will also add side padding as well. You will see that I have a set of shadows with inset property. This is to make the box shadow radius appears on both sides. So let's see the comparison for better understanding. And finally add border radius to finish it. So that's all for this tutorial, hope you like it. If you love this video, don't forget to like 